Okay, today we're going to talk about rolling. So, we have a lot of patients in here that on the first day or the first exam, we go through rolling patterns. We go front to back, back to front, using our upper body and our lower body. Well, the reason we do that, I'm going to grab the spine real quick, is we're looking at how you do this regressive movement pattern or how well you do that regressive movement pattern. So, sometimes we have a patient that when we watch them roll, they might roll all as one segment or very stiff or they push off the ground with a leg or an arm and then as they go through it they hit a sticking point where they can't go anymore and then they muscle through it or they need to initiate that roll really quick and fast. Well, when we roll and it's not nice and fluid where we're getting each segment of the spine to rotate on its own and either go through extension or flexion depending on if we're going from front to back, we use these big muscles. So if you take your hand and kind of feel your low back and feel those big erector spinae muscles in your lumbar spine. When we use those to go into extension and then rotate, we basically compress these lumbar discs or any disc in the spine for that matter as we go through a rotation pattern. Now, if we get each level of the spine to rotate individually and we use all those little stabilizer muscles and rotators on their own, we're actually going to keep that disc space pretty neutral and go through that range of motion. So then we're going to go through a full flexion rotation pattern without compressing the disc. That is crucially important if you have a current disc issue, but it's also important if we're trying to prevent injury. So I know sometimes we get an eye roll when I say, I want to see you roll around on the floor, and I make a joke that we vacuum so it's alright, you can get down there and roll around, it's going to be clean. But this is probably one of the most important things that we can assess and fix. Sometimes if just by fixing that rolling pattern, we'll get people out of pain and then they use this as an assessment or a self audit tool. So I'll say, you go home and I want you to, maybe tonight, tomorrow morning when you wake up, I want to see, can you still roll? Because this is a neurologic switch that needs to be kicked every once in a while to keep that rolling pattern nice and smooth. And that's kind of our, our audit or our pre-assessment of, all right, should I go ahead and move to my next exercise? Well, probably not if we can't roll. So if you ever come into the farm and we make your roll around on the ground, that's why.